We are here today talking to Bob Brecken, history instructor and coordinator of the new Honors AA degree program. So welcome to the show, Bob. Glad to be here. Um, hate to put you on the spot right away before I start asking questions, but uh, can you just give us kind of a, a, a rundown, maybe talk a little bit about what the program is, and, and you can do this in any order you choose, but um, it'd be interesting to talk about what the program is and I guess the reason for getting it started here at Central Lakes College. Okay, well, it, we're hoping to uh, attract and challenge uh, some of the better students in this area uh, to give them an opportunity to take classes that are a little more rigorous, that involve a little more depth uh, than a traditional class. Uh, we're looking at this is an opportunity maybe to attract a few students to the campus that might not have looked at Central Lakes College uh, previously. They may have looked uh, just at a four-year school. Uh, we all know with uh, the economy the way it is today and the cost of education that their uh, um, students are, are sort of looking at the cost of their overall education and thinking that you know maybe there's an opportunity here for Central Lakes to offer these students uh, a more rigorous and challenging uh, curriculum uh, and um, allow them to save a little bit of money at the same time. So uh, we see a, a, a need that uh, can be filled here uh, and uh, an opportunity that uh, uh, for us as an institution to offer something we haven't in the past. Is it, uh, you know, we're all kind of learning it now. It's, it's going to be new for fall of uh, 2010 and I, I, you know, our semester starts in August. Uh, as, as far as uh, how people relate to it is, is it something like you know in many high schools that I know in Brainerd they have AP classes advanced placement classes is there is there something similar in uh, in our honors AA degree classes uh, as advanced placement classes for people to kind of get a context for for what this degree and what the classes are about well, your, your advanced placement classes are in place of, I would say, a uh, typical or traditional introductory uh, college class. The honors classes will go a little bit more in depth even than an advanced placement class. So you're going to have, it'll be a smaller cohort of students. I mean, we're only looking at allowing 24 students per year to enroll in this program. Uh, class sizes are going to be much smaller. Um, class settings are going to be a little more seminar style. Uh, than a traditional class, a uh, size of probably anywhere from 25 to 60 students here on campus. We're going to be looking at class sizes no more than 24. Probably most of them will be uh, even a little bit smaller. So more personal contact uh, with the instructor, opportunity maybe to do some things you can't in the larger classes, um, uh, go a little more in depth into topics than, than might be uh, in a traditional class. Uh, chance for some maybe uh, other kinds of projects, field trips, things that are more difficult to do with a larger class, um, and, um, and, and a little more rigor. Um, probably the work level, reading level, uh, writing level of the classes uh, is going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more in, in depth than uh, what you'd find in a traditional class. So for a student, you know, preparing to go on to a university, uh, there is some, there is a similarity to taking more rigor, like a student may take more rigor in high school by taking advanced placement, and this is somewhat of what the program is for the honors classes and honors program, is it's providing more rigor for that person, you know, looking at uh, going to a university so that they're better prepared to take on those classes when they get there? Exactly, um, and, and it is aimed at students that are going to get their uh, associate of Arts degree and move on to a four-year institution. We're in the process of talking with a number of institutions about articulation agreements which would allow our honors graduates to then enter honors programs at four-year schools as well. Uh, so that is uh, something we're, we're currently working on and hope to have in, in place in the near future. But the assumption is that most of these students will, will be going on to complete degrees in uh, at a four-year institution. And they could be de completing degrees in virtually any uh, field. We've, we've set up our program so that if you're in math or sciences or humanities or social sciences, uh, the arts, 
um, you can participate in the honors program and uh, transfer onto a four-year institution. And of course, I should mention too that we have we have our uh, Minnesota transfer curriculum um, that uh, allows students to transfer their complete credit load, their AA degree, to uh, four-year public institutions in the state of Minnesota. The honors degree would transfer in the same way and, and is laid out to meet all of those uh, transfer requirements, uh, say, to go to uh, uh, any of the public institutions uh, in the state. 